welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Hannah and today I'm just vlogging um, I'm gonna try to film another video today um, but more of like a sit down video um, but I thought I'd vlog today um, I'm home and my apartment's starting to be so Christmassy and um, I just really want to film it's snowing today which I didn't realize we were gonna get as much snow as we did or start and are starting to so I'm just in the mood to like film a very wintry vlog um, I just made my coffee I'm gonna make some breakfast and oh I want to show you guys these they're like really popular right now um, these holiday whipped creams from Target these are actually so good this is the peppermint one I just used and this is gingerbread which I've just tried it. I haven't put it on my coffee just because I've been obsessed with this peppermint. It's not super strong. It's like just the right amount of flavor to put on top of your coffee. I love it and I can't stop using it. <laughs> um, but I need to start using this gingerbread one because it is really, really good. I've never been like really into gingerbread because I just like never ate it. But I got this and then I got some gingerbread Kit Kats. So good. Hopefully this tastes good. I've never done this. I made eggs like this before, but I've never put it on a bagel. And I put some salsa on it, so hopefully it's good. Half, but. Yep. I just want you to know, everything I do that's aesthetic is all fake. Everything on social media is fake. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but yeah, nothing is cute about this. What? You want to go play in the snow, don't you? I know. I know. You want to go play in the snow? Yeah. How about a treat and stuff? <laughs> How is everyone doing? I genuinely want to know. I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, my mental health hasn't been the greatest. Um, there's, I thought I was just going through maybe like a little bit of seasonal depression, but um, 
I I found the cause of it and I finally made the decision to just put myself first and it is so hard to vlog with a dog. I finally made the decision to just kind of pull the trigger and just fix whatever was needing to be fixed and um, so I did that and I feel better. Um, not a hundred percent, but I definitely feel my stress levels completely changed. So I'm just going to come out and say it. Um, my biggest stressor was my job. And, um, when I moved here, I left a job that I actually loved. Um, it was a little stressful at times, but what job isn't? When I complained about my last job being stressful, I would have never thought that I would be in the position that I am now. Um, and there's different levels of stress. I'm not trying to like cancel out my feelings about my last job, um, but it's just like a whole nother level of stress that like I could not handle anymore. And the people who work there, fortunately, they're choosing to deal with it and to each their own. If they think it's worth it, then good for them. Um, but I stayed at this job because I was making more money and more money than I ever have since working. I mean, I've been working since I was 14 in my first job. I was making eight bucks an hour, which is a lot more than most. Um, but I've been working since I was 14 and getting this kind of raise and this kind of like money, I was like, I can't let this go. But so many times at jobs, I was like, I don't get paid enough for this. Um, this job was super stressful and I see why they pay people more. But it's at the end of the day, it's not worth it. It's It's so not worth it. Like, do not let money drive you insane basically um let money be a motivation but don't let it be the only thing because i got to the point where money couldn't even motivate me and i was going to work mad sad just like overall just angry and i wasn't being myself i wasn't i wasn't being the best that i know i can be in the environment that i was in and i just had to let go and I started noticing a shift in my coworkers' energies as well. And it just wasn't enjoyable to go to work. And I think you don't have to absolutely love your job, but you should be able to tolerate it enough to actually go. And um, it just, it wasn't worth it for me. The day that I was supposed to go back after my wedding, I was, I literally, I was getting up to go to work or like I actually couldn't even get up I should say that I snooze my alarms more than I ever have and I like I literally could not picture myself going to work that day and I didn't and at my job with talking about like how crazy it is it wasn't fair to my coworkers that I wasn't going to work or other people weren't going to work. It's just not fair. But at the same time, you have to take care of yourself and put yourself first because nobody's going to put you first. They're all going to put themselves first. And that's just how it goes. You have to put yourself first regardless. And I was putting myself first that morning and I was putting my mental health first. I was listening to my body. I was listening to my mind. And I was like, I'm not going because I am going to be miserable and I'm not going to be able to handle this. The next day I forced myself to go. I cried at work like three times and I was miserable. I stuck it out through the rest of the day but I just couldn't take it anymore. Fast forward to Friday I text my manager and I was like listen I'm really struggling and she knew about this already so she kind of understood. Um, I was like, I don't typically just leave a job, but mentally I cannot, I feel paralyzed. I can't get out of bed. And she was so sweet. So just so understanding, you know, she offered me like a part-time position or an OPT, which is like coming in whenever you're needed. And I was like, I just think I need a break right now and find something a little more calm. Basically I made the decision after talking with Alex and everything. And he's like, just 
please don't go to work. He's like, this just needs to be over with. He goes, I can tell a change in your mood since you started working there. And he's like, it's just, it's not worth it at the end of the day. <clears throat> and I lasted five months. I when honestly, like my second day I cried and I told Alex, I was like, I can't do this. This is crazy. I'm never going to learn. And I did, but even learning didn't make things better. If anything, it made it worse because people expected you to know what you were doing and not make mistakes. When in reality, we're human, we make mistakes. And especially in a chaotic environment that I was in, you're going to make mistakes. And it is what it is, but some people don't see it that way. They think you're shitty at your job or you just don't know what you're doing or whatever it is. To sum up what what I was doing. My last job, I worked in a call center and I was like front desk here and there. Um, we would take maybe on an average like 110 calls a day. At the most we would, no I'd say like 110 to maybe like 150, something like that. Um, but more often it was hitting that 110 mark and within checking in patients our highest amount and we would make sure we would have three people at the desk we would have as high as like 90 but on a normal day it would be like it would be like 40. at my new job same concept just a busier clinic um and i mean busy i mean busy so i went from checking in at the highest 90 patients with three people to um, one of the days that really made me decide that I couldn't do this anymore was we have three people checking in 660 patients. Now, is it that high every day? No, but our average was 400 to 600 and that day it was almost hitting 700. Now, you don't have a moment to pee. You don't have a moment to drink water. You don't have a moment to be like, hey, how are you to your coworkers? Or, you know, like, what's going on in your life? Like, nobody could barely ask me how my wedding was because it was so chaotic. And it was just too much. And I'm sure, as anybody can imagine, it's not fun. Like, I, one thing I love and what I'm going to miss is I actually truly loved my coworkers. But it just wasn't worth it at the end of the day and I know I will be happier somewhere else and it is the the most stressful thing is not only money but also just feeling lost and not knowing where you want to go in your career and the things that I love and to be honest I love YouTube I love posting on Instagram I love everything about being an influencer and I hope I can be that one day but realistically it's not going to pay my bills and I wasn't able to work at myself and work on my channel and work on my goals at this job because I would come home and like I wouldn't want to talk to my mom like she would try to call me and I'd just be like I really don't want to talk I wouldn't talk to my stepdad I wouldn't talk to my sister half the time I would barely talk to Alex and it was just too much for me and life is too short to not answer a phone call from your mom or your dad or your sister or your brother. And I was missing out on so many things because I would use the weekend to literally just prepare for the next week. And it just, I'm sorry, life is too short and I'm not going to live my life for work. I'm going to go to work like a normal human, but I'm not going to sell my like literally sell myself or sell my soul to like my job like I'm just not gonna do it it's not worth it at the end of the day you're replaceable and they don't care I had to change a little bit because my foot's falling asleep but yeah so basically my advice to anybody going through anything like that or just anything in general that's causing you stress is put yourself first make sure you're not putting yourself in a situation where you're gonna be even more stressed out or worry about something else. Um, highly recommend finding another job before you quit, but like, good thing for me and Alex is we had some money saved, so it gives me some time to figure out what I wanna do. And while I'm home, I can film. And I just, I'm hoping I can get back into that love for YouTube and motivation and just overall, just happiness surrounding it. You're not alone. It's normal to feel this way. Take care of yourself and put yourself first. Um, 
and that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop talking a little bit and start editing this video. I like to edit film and try to post same day. We're gonna see what happens, but I'm gonna let Sadie go play out in the snow a little longer because she's looking at me like she's so upset, but um, yeah. You got your little sweater. Look at how cute you are. Do you like your sweater? You sit? Sit. Oh, okay. She's so cute. Sater. having a snack. Because it's too early for dinner. These are really good. It says new. I feel like I've seen these before so maybe just the ranch flavor is new. But these are ranch toasted Ritz. They're really good. I was eating them with cottage cheese. <laughs> I don't know. I know it's like a very like you either love it or you hate it with cottage cheese. Love it. And it's funny, Alex hated it growing up. Like absolutely could not stand it. And I got him into it by getting him to eat um, cottage cheese with sweet and spicy Doritos. He likes it now. Like, he eats it without the Doritos now. All are sleeping on cottage cheese. Put salt, pepper. You can even put garlic and parsley. My mom basically had us grow up on it because it was cheap. Um, She always used to, like, my favorite dinner growing up was, like, when she'd make, um roast potatoes carrots and she'd put cottage cheese on the side and literally i would have like a little bit of roast tons of carrots tons of potatoes and a ton of cottage cheese i was obsessed with it let's see what his lazy eye is <laughs> you see which one <laughs> <laughs> but if I look at the camera, I can't see my face. It's that one. Okay, ready? It's this one. Oh, okay, ready? I'm just gonna look. Your eyes not open all the way. No, you gotta be looking like straight on. <laughs> straight on. But then I can't see if I'm looking at the camera. <laughs> Oh my god, I need to trim the mustache. Oh. <laughs> oh, psh.